When England toured the Caribbean in early 2019, the initial prediction from pundits was that the number four ranked test nation would have a walk in the park. However, it was quite opposite, as they were greeted with a baptism of fire from a West Indies space unit, which has developed into a potent four prong attack. In the first test of the Kensington Oval, the number eight ranked West Indies saw the Patriots produce a barrage of aggressive bowling, which left the visitors in tatters. They were bowled out for 77 and 30.2 overs, with Kimar Road snaring 5 for 17. Um, the different conditions, obviously, to the Caribbean. Um, um, the ball does a little bit more in England. So I think we have to adjust our plans. Um, obviously, Deva is a great plan to come out against this English batsman. But I don't think our, our mode of attack is going to change much. Um, we saw them in the Caribbean, and obviously, it was, it's pretty fresh in our minds. So it's going to be it's always going to be tough to play in England, as I said, but I think once once we get stuck into them, I think we stand a great chance of, of, of defeating England. The 31 year old Barbadian, who has taken 29 wickets in his last six tests against England, said the Caribbean creator should be applauded for the improved pitches, which has been a renewed interest in fast bowling. I think that goes greatly because of the pitches in the Caribbean have improved. Um, I think. The creators have done a fantastic job preparing bumps here on greener pitches. So it breeds more fast bowlers. Um, we always had a history of fast bowlers. We just needed we just needed a pitch to bowl on. So I think that 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 is kudos to the, um, the creators back home in the Caribbean. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward. They said um, if our bowling lineup, I think we've done a fantastic job over the last couple of years. And I think if we continue to work hard and obviously um, train as hard as we have been training, I think. Some great things are ahead for us. More so, West Indies head coach Phil Simmons is adamant his batsmen need to increase productivity and be more consistent to enhance their chances of toppling England. Simmons felt it was the bowlers who have been carrying the weight and it's time the batters step up to the plate when the series commences on July 8th at a GS Bowl. I think that's the, that's the important part of this tour. Um, it is, there's, there's a lot of pressure on the batsmen to perform because the bowling unit has been carrying the test team for a while now and it's it's something that we are harping on a lot um, not to put extra pressure because there's enough pressure in playing a test match but we need to get that that total of 400 450 in order to give this bowling unit which i think is a a, a top class bowling unit that's for the fast bowlers especially um so we need to get that 400 450 on a regular basis in order to give ourselves a chance in these three test matches in the build-up to the Test Series, West Indies will have two warm-up matches at the Emirates Old Trafford in Manchester before they travel to Southampton. The three-day match will be played from Tuesday, June 23rd to Thursday, June 25th and the four-day match from Monday, June 29th to Thursday, July 2nd. For the newsroom, back in green.